Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I am back for the Hashtag Color Combo 2024, hosted by Tammy at Lou Fru Fru Studio. This is her um, tagline for YouTube that you can type in and get to her channel directly, but you can also just type in Lou Fru Fru Studio or Hashtag Color Combo 2024. These are all lowercase letters. Um, yeah, it's, it's easy to find. And there's a link in the description box of my all my videos uh, for the color combo. So you can check there. So every week, Tammy chooses, she usually actually does it a month ahead of time, but each week there's one color and one shape um, for that week. And then the idea is that you use both of those um, items in a piece of ephemera or a collage or painting or whatever it is that you like to do. So, for example, last week it was beige and teardrop, and I made this, um, like, tuck pocket with these little beige teardrops. And that's the other thing. You do not have to use uh, the color and the shape together. Like, you don't have to do a beige teardrop. You could have a gold teardrop or a green teardrop or whatever, and then use... Um, the color somewhere else. You just need to use both of the items on your ephemera. I just chose to go ahead and do both uh, beige and teardrop together to make this little tuck um, pocket, which looks like that. And then you just have lots of little, little spots to tuck all the goodies into if you can manage it. <laughs> So anyways, that was what I made last week. This week, the prompts are gold and star. So what we're going to do for that is use... Okay, so for star, I'm mainly going to use these little patriotic images. And this is a freebie that's in the description box below the video. I shrunk these down in size. Um, I actually printed, this is just half of a page that this little guy was here. And then I printed another page on an eight and a half um, by 11 sheet of paper where I had the other ones. But it's these that you will get on a full eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper in the description box below this video. So just a little, just a little patriotic something there. I thought they were cute and they would be fun. So what we're gonna do is I have one of my pockets and I showed you this digital yesterday um, in my video. It's a whole um, digital download of different pockets denim pockets this is like almost looks like that railroad overall type fabric um yeah just all all kinds of paper pockets that kind of look like this and then you also get some background pages so um yeah and then i wanted to put this sorry i'm kind of all over the place on this paper and this is my grungy fabric digital this side and then here is old grungy paper. I just thought it would be fun. We will make a journal page out of these if I can manage to get this straight. So what I wanted to do is put this one on here. I just loved the way that that looked. And do a little patriotic something here. If I can find all my pieces again. Have everything all mixed up. And where did I put my character? I want this little boy on there. He's so cute. Hmm? And I think what I'm going to do, because I obviously I don't have a lot of gold, I am going to add some other gold bits, but I'm going to color his little star gold with my little gold pen. Of course, you do not have to do this. Because this might be a disaster. It's so tiny. I just thought it would be fun if the if his little star was gold. Not that you have to do that. You could use the star, and then I am adding some gold metal pieces, so that would count as gold and star. But I'm going to go ahead and just color that in. I'm going to go ahead and do the one on here, too. Since I can, I might as well. 
okay? So just, I don't know, a little fun some. And I'm going to try to ink around them without messing up those stars because they're a little wet. But you could add, you could do a whole um, something, have a star on it, and put some gold splatters. I mean, you know, there's a lot of things that you could do. Uh, Tammy did, like, starfish and then some gold. Ah, I just said I'm not going to touch that, and then I touched it. Um, gold splatters and uh, metal pieces, you know, eyelets and that, which I'm also going to do a little bit of that, too. So, yeah, you could just do something with gold stars on it. Like the gold stars we got when we were kids at school. I thought about that, but I um, didn't have any. <laughs> or not that I can find anyway. I thought I did, but you know how that goes. Sometimes you're like, I know I have that. Nope. It's just from seeing them when you were a kid. And then I'm just going to put this eyelet over here. And it's gold. And we'll do a couple po different pockets. They're not all going to go on here, obviously, but um, just just for fun. Oh, what am I doing? I'm telling you, this thing is beyond my brain. It really is. Oh, that is not a good. That is not a good one. Like I've mentioned in past videos, but if you uh, didn't see them, spend money on those eyelets. It's worth it. Because if you buy those cheapo ones, and I've done it, because it's hard to resist, you get a matrillion of them for nothing. They um, don't flatten right, which on the back of this isn't going to be a big deal. But when you can see it, it's really, really irritating. It drives me crazy when that happens. So it's better, oh, it's not going to work that direction. It's better to just spend the money and get like an actual brand, like We Are Memory Keepers, or why am I struggling with this so bad? It has to go that way, but it's not wanting to lay right. No, that's how it's gonna lay. I just took a piece of stripey fabric, polka dot, navy blue, and a white button, and put that on there. And that may have to, I might have to go that other way. Because, uh, it, it, it's just worth it to get them so they work right. Why can I not figure this out, you guys? <laughs> like, is that the only way it can go? It just doesn't want to lay right. Oh, I guess that's how it's going to go. All right, and then we're going to put him on there, but we want, I have a little music paper first that I wanted to put on here. Yeah, because there's nothing worse than, especially on a journal cover when you're using eyelets, and then they don't squish right, and they look all cruddy. That makes me angry. Oh, I need to say hugs and blessings to Heidi, Celeste, and Mitzi. I love you guys, and thank you so much for kind comments and always watching and just being supportive. I really appreciate it so, so much. And welcome to new subscribers and welcome back to continuing subscribers and I am very aware I could not do what I do without you guys so I thank you so much just gonna put that on there and this little boy right here and I don't know if that's gonna work now with the way that is I'll scooch him this way a little more Yeah, this would be a fun uh, patriotic journal to do. I've never done one, and I don't know why, because I love I love that whole patriotic look and um, the old primitive patriotic stuff. I love all that. And I'm just going to put that right on there. I'm 
gonna try to get this to glue down. I don't know. I probably should have put that eyelet closer to the edge, but then I, you run that risk of getting too close to the edge, you know. I'm just going to kind of go, you know, sort of in the middle. I'm going to air more that direction just because when you, you know, you don't want to get too close to your edge where you're going to bind it. It's not wanting to sit right at all. You guys tell me what I did wrong there. I, that's why I don't use these kind of things very often. <laughs> but I loved that little piece of ribbon with the blue polka dots. But anyways, there it is. So that's probably going to need some work eventually. But I think that's so cute. And then you can put... Tag in there. There's that one, and then we're gonna do another one because one is, is very short. Very, very short. Okay, I'm gonna grab some glue pages to do these ones instead of doing a whole page page. That one's gonna go on there, but I'm gonna tear down the sides so that it could be used um, as a pocket, like you could glue this whole thing to a page as a pocket, or you can put it into a pocket. And this is just glue pages like these over here that I'm gluing on. And sometimes you have to glue these uh, again, like add a little more glue. I'm glad I didn't tear that because I would have torn it too small. Basically tearing it almost the size of the pocket. Oh, I did tear it too small. Oh my gosh. I'll save that for the other pocket because it's not as big. <laughs> Some days, <laughs> I'm telling you. And if your pockets aren't sticking, I usually stitch around mine, so I guess I don't really have to do this, but you can just add a little more glue because sometimes they only stick. I even stamped on that one, February 14th. All right, I won't get so crazy with this one. Pay attention now, girl. but that's okay. And then I'm going to tear just a little off the bottom. And we're going to add some other paper. Add some of this. One of these. I don't know which one. Depends on which one I like with this pocket. Not those. I do want that patriotic look. A little more. I don't know if any of these ones will work. Maybe will the stripes work? Yeah, I think I like the stripes. That one wouldn't be bad either. But I think I like the stripes. So let's do that. Sorry if there's anything bad on those. I didn't write the books. I just used them to glue and stick stuff to. <laughs> Save that for something it might be useful. It helps if you use your grid and do all that. I'm horrible about that, so I just, I just wing it. Usually in quick time. Every once in a while not, but that's okay. 
And this can be stitched around too. Well, obviously if you stitch around that, it's gonna get stitched around, but you know what I'm saying. I'm going to do a thumb notch because I think I would like this as a pocket, but you don't have to. Like I said, you could also put it in a pocket, journaling card in a pocket, but I think I want it as a pocket. So I just want to make sure. Yeah, that'll work before I glue this down. I love these crazy pockets. <laughs> They're just fun. They just add uh, texture and you know that whole, I don't know, they look like dimensional so they're interesting. I think. things out of here and I can't find what I need. Not that. What else? I had something else behind her. I was going to put this gold ribbon on there. She has stars in the flag behind her. She's in I think she got little stars all over her shirt, but her dress, whatever it's called. <laughs> whatever she's wearing. Nobody hardly wears dresses anymore, so I always forget about that. I had a different piece of paper, but I don't know what I did with it. I kind of liked it because it was a little bit lighter color. I guess we're going grungy on that. Just sort of helps um, take some of the busyness away when you put book page of any kind. It doesn't have to be the number kind. I just like the numbers. I feel like it needs like an adjoining something down here, so put this right here. We're not really screaming with stars or gold on any of these, but that's okay. It's there. I <laughs> guess it's not there. <laughs> Thank 
see. Okay, this. Can't tell which way it goes. And I'm not even worried if it's hanging off a little bit because it doesn't matter. It's it's on that, so it's not gonna affect. You know, like it's not gonna hang off your page or it's not gonna do any of that. You would probably want to use fabric tack. I prefer Aline's tacky glue. Except when I get way too much. But that's my fault. And it didn't end up hanging off. I just did like a little, I stitched it on my sewing machine, made sort of a little pleated piece there. So there's gold, gold, and then bar hills. So you have a pocket here, maybe if you didn't glue it closed, like moi. Pocket, pocket, and then you just glue that onto your page. Very cute. And I will do some stitching on that. And then I'll come back and show you guys when I'm done stitching those. And then we're going to do another little pocket for fun. I don't know where I put that other book page. Oh, this is it. This is it. I think I'm going to go this direction. Yes. No particular reason. Just feel like it. little guy I think oh there's that piece of paper I was looking for <laughs> oh well it turned out fine <laughs> do I hate it when you do stuff like that Yeesh. I think I'll use this little guy because I have an idea so this needs to go on something first. And this will go on here, like Sue. So. Kind of quiet today. Don't have a lot of stories. Drama is always fantastic, in my opinion. I don't have any fun stories to tell either, though. <laughs> uh, pretty quiet around here. I like that grungy fabric a lot. I think you could do a lot of fun... I think what I want to do, um, maybe after I do this... Cruciform journal. I'm going to do just a journal using all these kind of grungy wallpapers and things like that. And that's it. Just those and make a femora and do. I mean, I'll use other items too, but I just mean they'll be the main uh, feature or whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to put this uh, little piece of fabric behind the little boy. I'm going to use this little pin, and this is a safety pin that I unwound, you know, unwound it so it was a straight piece, put the beads on, and then wound it back up, which, as you can see, that bottom part is not perfect, but it's wound. <laughs> so, 
that's the best way to do safety pins if you want to put that's what we did in the 80s <laughs> to make um i don't even remember what the heck we were doing with those pinning them on everything i think but anyhow uh you know safety pins with beads on them that works well and then we'll just put this little cutie on there i'm gonna ink this a little to rungy it up a bit. And I'm just gonna put, try to put a little bit of glue, not a ton of glue, on there. <sighs> when your fingers are sticky, it makes it very difficult. And I know he's covering up the flap, but the flap isn't useful anyway, so I'm not gonna worry about that. The flap of the pocket here is what I'm, it's what I'm on about. <laughs> I really had to talk myself out of that. <laughs> I'm going to try to color his tiny itty bitty star, which isn't going to be easy because the, this pin is not the smallest tipped pin in the world. His little gold star. I'm just going to do this because I don't want to mess up the star with the glue stick if I can help it. Plus, it's sticking on fabric, so we're going to hope that this will hold it. Isn't he the cutest? <laughs> I love little kids. I miss having little kids around. I do miss working at the school, believe it or not. I mean, there's things I don't miss about it, that's for sure, but some of them are just so cute. It's the naughty ones that get to me after a while. Discipline is gotten difficult, that's for sure. They don't want to listen. At least that was my experience. So this, I think I would probably use more as a journaling card. So I think I'll back it with something. I'm gonna let that set for a second. And what am I backing it with? Dunno. Um, oh, that's cool. No, because that could get used in a journal. It's an, it was an extra. Sorry, I'm just seeing if I have anything that would be fun to put on the back of that. Probably not. Just use some tea dyed, or this might be coffee. I don't know. I do both, so I never know which one it is. I think that star is dry. Yeah. I should have ripped that paper instead, but that's all right. Too late now. The edges of this are all torn. I could still do that. I guess I should have thought of tags to go in these too, but I didn't think of that. So. Not always good with the whole picture. <laughs> that's where I'm lacking, is the whole picture. Gonna be interesting with that little pin there. I don't know if this is a good idea. Probably not. Nope, because it wants to pull away. Go in this direction. Eesh, that's not awful, but it's not great. That's why I should have, when I said I should have um, 
torn the paper to size first. It would have been better. But I got it. It's, it's on. I need to curl though. Sometimes we get there. <laughs> Somehow. Uh, okay. There's our little. Uh, this one's going to be a journaling card. This one's going to be a pocket. And I'm going to go do some stitching and I'll be back. Okay, I am back. I got this to hang a little bit better. So this um, glued down now. Added a couple of Tracy Fox labels just because there was like some random room there so I just felt like that helped that little pocket out and then I have this little journaling card with our gold safety pin and our cutie little guy there and does this fit in here barely but you can see it's a pocket <laughs> and then our lady I stitched around this pocket too but ah, it's still a pocket here and a pocket back here. So you could even do something like this, but that would that would be a lot. So especially with that sticking up. But anyways, that is what I have for gold and star. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I will see you again soon. Love ya. Bye.